Hey guys, we're going to be looking at angles in a straight line in this session. So let's get started. So, let's say we've got a couple of angles here. Where we've got A and we've got B. Because it's on a straight line, we can say that angle A plus angle B would equal 180 degrees. Now, just working with geometric reasoning, whenever you actually give, a, give an answer, you actually have to give a reason. And the reason, you can write it in abbreviated form. And in this case, we can actually say angles on a line. Now, that's more than enough. So let's look at a couple of quick examples. So here's the first one. We've got to figure out what angle A is. Now, so we know that angle A plus 40 equals 180 degrees. And we want to have A by itself, so we're going to rearrange things. So A equals 180 take away 40, which means A is equal to 140 degrees. Now guys, you don't actually need to do this, these three lines. You can straight away put A equals 140 degrees, and then just write the reason angles on a line. Um, but the reason I'm, I'm showing you this method is so that it kind of helps you with your algebra um, later on. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Okay, here's a second example. We still have a straight line, but it's just kind of tilted a little bit uh, on an angle, really. And we want to try and figure out what x is. Now, we've got a little square in there. Uh, for most of you, it, you, kn you know that a square is um, when it's a 90-degree angle. So in this case, the angles in a straight line is still going to add to 180. So we've got x plus 35 degrees. And see how we've got the little square? That's just another way of saying that it's 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, and all this equals 180 degrees. So simplifying this, we're going to get x plus 125 degrees equals 180 degrees, and x equals 180 take away 125, which means our final answer for x is 55 degrees. Now once again, guys, you don't need to do all these steps, but so if you're doing algebra, it's just quite handy to do, do, do it this way. Uh, have I forgotten something here? Uh, yes, I have. I've actually forgotten um, my reasons because I need to actually write my reasons after I find the answers. So there's my first one. Angles on a straight line. And of course, also for example two, I just need to write that reason down as well. Okay. Let's have a look at a slightly... Well, not harder, just slightly trickier problem. So we've got example three. Uh, this is the last example we'll be looking at. We've got one straight line, two angles. But one angle is x, the other angle is 3x. So in this case, you can guess and check. You can actually say try one, I don't know, say if x was 20 degrees, then 3 times 20 would be 60. But, you know, sometimes it's just uh, guessing and checking this just takes too much time. So what we do know is we do know that angle x plus angle 3x is going to equal 180 degrees. Now this is where that algebra comes in handy. x plus 3x, we can write it as 4x, which equals 180 degrees. Now if we have 4 times x is 180, then we can rearrange it as x equals 180 divided by 4. 180 divided by 4 is 45 degrees. Now at this point, we don't really need to find out what 3x is because our job was to actually find x. 3x is actually going to be 135 because it's 45 times 3. But our reason for this, as usual, it's going to be angles on a line. Alright guys, that's about it for this ses session. So thank you for watching.